Next to failure of the shaft bearings on a water pump and also the seal, the next thing that can kill a water pump, well, it's cavitation. Cavitation are tiny little bubbles that contain vapor that can destroy the impeller and also the housing of the water pump. For those of you not familiar with what cavitation is, well, it's actually what happens to a fluid when it goes from a low pressure to a high pressure to a low pressure state and can also occur when an object is moving through it. These are not air bubbles, they're actual voids that contain steam. Steam is highly destructive to metal parts inside the cooling system. So now you know what cavitation is, but there are three things that you have control over to help prevent cavitation in your next water pump job. The number one thing, well, it's actually the coolant. If the coolant does not have the right specific gravity, chemistry, or makeup, it can cause cavitation in the system. Typically, if you run a system with just water, you might get a lot of cavitation in the pump if the conditions are right. This can be very destructive. But if you have the correct coolant recommended by the manufacturer at the right specific gravity, it's gonna prevent cavitation. The next thing that you have control over, well, it's the replacement water pump. You need to make sure that it matches the original pump that was on the vehicle. If the impeller is the wrong design or the housing is not right, well, cavitation can occur. Number three, it's pressure. If the radiator cap is not functioning properly, either it keeps it at too high of a pressure or a too low of a pressure, cavitation can occur. So next time you're doing a water pump job, you might wanna include a radiator cap to restore the system to full working order. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.